Today, I'm going back to flying. LAX is like a ghost town. And with that, because of COVID, we don't do so many things. This is the way to travel with Lufthansa First Class. Grand Boulet, freshly made, tastes so much better. It's actually better than my expectation. There's at least food. It's not just packaged cookies and uh, chocolate and stuff. There's actually real food here, but it's actually served behind a counter. That is potato sauce. Potato sauce. Okay, very good. Okay. Oh my God, my beer pouring skill is terrible. I need better training. Look at how much form I've got. This. So I'm already exhausted. Um, I think it's about 3 a.m. in LA time. And uh, I'm at the Senator's Lounge at B concourse here. I was trying to go to the first class lounge, but it's not open to the B23. There's a selection of food out there, which is a little bit better than I expected because I have seen a lot of pictures on other lounges all have packaged snacks, chips, cookies. So here is actually um, has some really good food. I have that chicken schnitzel, which is great. And they have wrapped pretzels and I'm enjoying a beer here. Um, ready to go for my next flight to Dubai in about an hour. Look at what's behind. I think Dubai is really calling me, but today I'm going to continue flying Lufthansa to Dubai and hopefully when I return to the US in a few weeks continue my PPL training, I'll be flying Emirates direct. Since when they opened? Before they didn't open. Three days. Just, oh, three, days. just three days ago yes. they opened. No, two days. Yesterday. Since yesterday they just opened. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Last minute I came here and then I was surprised the shower is actually open, but it's too late. I have to board my flight now. Well, this flight is actually busier than I expected. A lot of people, you see that? Yeah, that boarding process has changed. You just self-scan your boarding pass. There's no one touching uh, your boarding pass. It's all contactless. Hi, this is uh, Oliver. And uh, today we're flying to, the, uh, to Dubai. Uh, the flight is Lufthansa 630. It's going to be a flight of six hours and 30 minutes. And uh, we will be a little bit late uh, due to the fact that we are flying over Saudi Arabia and uh, well with me my other captain Andreas and we are gonna bring you as quick as possible to Dubai and a good flight. What would be the flight altitude cruising at and speed? Uh, we will be at about 39,000 feet and 0 0.80 today. 0 0.80 yeah, quite slow yeah. no tailwind. Uh, well we have to save some fuel it's expensive enough so we keep uh, a slow speed. Mm -hmm. 1976 I did my before I was born. Yeah, <laughs> my solo on a Beechcraft uh, airplane, a Beech 33. I did three patterns as usual and with a stop and go. After the last uh, takeoff, my door opened on the side and I was, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh but keep calm, keep calm. I did my pattern. Aviate, aviate, aviate navigate, communicate. Navigate, communicate. <laughs> I know the basics already. Yeah, my teacher uh, listened to the. Um, to the ATC and uh, uh, he knew what was happening because uh, the, loud, uh, the noise in the cockpit. Nah. Yes. But after landing, everybody was happy and my flight, my crew member, uh, my, my flight members came to me and in Germany we did uh, this um, habit after your uh, positive solo, uh, you have to bend over the leading edge of the beach craft and everybody of the flight is coming and clap um, one of with big hands, with a strong hit on your, what do, what do, what do you tell it here? A strong, strong arm on your ass, on, the on ass, your bottom. Yeah. You have and a clap on your bottom. Yeah. 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 You, you what a weird habit in German. Yeah. <laughs> and you can imagine if 10 or 15 people. Yeah, so your ass is on fire, right? You're everybody yeah, clapping yeah. on your ass. Okay, that was um, a long time ago, but... I you remember. still remember because yeah. you have such an extraordinary, you saved the airplane. You came back to land in one positive speed, you yeah, know? That's Fly, navigate, communicate. Awesome.
Well, I don't know what this is. Every seat there's a box. I think maybe it's food. There's a box on the seat, just like that. So I asked the purser. The purser told me um, they're serving this box meal is because of the UAE United Arab Emirates country regulations. Um, it's not a typical Lufthansa catering. We are already 30 minutes late and still at the gate. I think we're waiting a couple more passengers, but I'm getting seriously tired. It's about, I don't know, 4 or 5 a.m. in LA time. I think for this flight, since the food is just in a box, I'm just gonna take a break and take a nap uh, after takeoff. This seat goes fully flat. I think this is pretty average, honestly. Um, you have to cross your neighbor to get out. And also it's pretty narrow. But I think the biggest challenge right now is there's no pillow, there's no blankets. So uh, we just have to sleep like this. I'm here is 11.50, we just arrived in Dubai. I flew nearly 22 hours from the US by Frankfurt. Um, glad that I arrived safely in one piece. And, but this flight was a contrast to my last 747 flight. This flight literally has no service. It actually reminded me, flying right now is not for fun. It's actually for people who needed to get there, to get home and to get things done. So um, I'm rather glad. I know there's a lot of formalities waiting for me ahead. But I'm just really glad I made it at the end. Because of all the quarantine and border restriction entering Dubai right now, we need to have self-help declaration form. Take care. care. Thank you. Right. See you next time. Thank all you. The best. Take care. Woo. Here I come, Dubai. So it looks like we are coming to Terminal 3 um, to go through the formalities, which this is the Emirates Airline Terminal. Very interesting. It's actually in the Emirates Terminal, and I remember this giant escalator. Let's go inside. different lines. This one is for residents and visitors don't need a test. I guess the good thing is that there's so many people returning to Dubai. It's coming alive, um, you know, but after a 20 some hours flight, they're just so, I'm so tired. They're just so long in the queue. It's the 
process is pretty fast. I wait about 10 minutes in the queue because there's a fast track queue. And uh, I registered and they gave me a Spiceman bag. I guess it's for the COVID PCR test. And I went through the immigration. And now I guess I'm heading to the test room. Hey. I'm getting my first uh, COVID PCR test taken. After the COVID test, came to the baggage claim, get my bags. The whole process is not bad. It's probably just taking about 30 minutes. Thanks for that fast track I had in business class. And uh, looking forward to go out to the street in Dubai right now. Just came out of Dubai airport. I met um, Ahmed and Ibrahim. Look at how cute it is. Uh, are you waiting for your family's relatives? Yeah. Who's coming in? Um, my father's sister. Father's sister. Okay. Happy e holiday. Me too. Okay, take care. Just came out of the building, crazy hot here, crazy humidity. Just the Dubai I remember. But I'm so glad I made it this long journey home. And thank you so much for watching again.